Welcome back, everybody. It's the We All We Got podcast. Excited to have y'all back for another episode. If you haven't listened to the past ones, hit it up. My brother has this one. He's very good, though. Make sure you go and check it. It's a good, check it. Good, good one, uh, And ever since, yo, we added uh, some new socials. So hit up us hit us up on IG uh, at We All We Got Pod or on TikTok, We All We Got Podcast. And then also, like, send us emails, questions if you got any anything you want to hit us up most of them are married so don't send you know what i'm saying don't don't try to holler none of them uh we all we got podcast 23 at gmail.com is the email so again excited to be back with y'all we got a real good episode this week a man from philly himself a baller of all ballers jay dillahay uh he's gonna be well that's also his wife's nickname so jeff dillahay uh, <laughs> so we're gonna be going through his story so i'm gonna hand it off to rashad for the weekly toast you already know what time it is, man. Like he said, uh, we, we we streaming. We streaming. We making this happen. We all we got podcasts. We're on Podbean. That's our official website. You can go check us out on Podbean. We're also on Apple Podcasts, and we're on YouTube. So we try to make it easy for you guys to rock with us. But right now, we know we all we got. So before we get started, we're going to make a toast. Whatever you're drinking on, uh, liquor, beer, wine, soda, juice, it doesn't matter. Today, I'm on that. I'm on that water today. To I got that water. <laughs> I got that water. I don't have any alcohol here in the house, so that's kind of that's, that's actually a little concerning. But take a cheers, man, to life, success, happiness, and just enjoying it where you are, man. Enjoying it. So, like my boy said today, we got a, another spicy ice spice all the way from West Philadelphia. Mm. We born and raised <laughs> on the playground. Mm-hmm. She can't yeah, let's hand it over to our boy Jeff. He's gonna tell us a little bit about himself, his background, his story. You know, Steph. Uh, Steph. Wow, the man who <laughs> ball like Steph. Hey, Jeff, go ahead, and kick us off, man. Tell us a little about yourself and what, what led you to Geneva, man. All right, man. So, uh, where do I start? I'll start with high school. So, high school, lived in King of Prussia. Came up in Geneva. Everybody was like, "What's King of Prussia?" Small fuckers from like Egypt or some shit. Like, no, <laughs> is right outside of Philly. It's a regular ass town, big ass mall, suburbs, all that. I shit. hear. I think of that movie, uh, that Disney movie, King of Persia, or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Prince, Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, man, went to uh, Upper Marion High School. It was uh, pretty diverse. It was pretty diverse. It was a lot of white people, black people. Spanish, Indian, Asian, we had some of everybody. So going there, it was like I felt comfortable going in any type of room or any type of venue, whatever. I felt like I could talk to anybody because I grew up around all different types of people. So going to Geneva, for me, it was a little bit weird because I was like, damn, it's like the six of us. (laughs) More and more people over there. And then just a bunch of RP people. So I'm used to like diverse environment so it was really different from that aspect but um played basketball ran track ran cross country basketball is my favorite sport obviously so went into geneva with two of my friends cam and kenan all played sports me and cam were like yo we're trying to hoop and uh me and cam came from like similar kind of high school basketball scenarios where like our teams were pretty stacked just because like philly delaware jersey basketball is king so we didn't get the most exposure. So we were like, all right, we could just go to a bigger school, have fun, whatever, or we could try to play again. So we were like, all right, let's just go to Geneva, try to play again. So we went up there, D3 school, obviously it's no scholarships, nothing like that. So we both had to walk on. Uh, both ended up walking on, so that was cool. Uh, that was, honestly, that was the main reason why we went to Geneva was the hoop. And looking back, I definitely should have, like, looked into the school a little bit more because I had no idea like <laughs> what RP meant. <laughs> like, even more so than that, like, just my major, too. Like, I know I'm jumping around, but, like, even my major. So I majored in business. And initially, I wanted to go, like, the sports management route. But it was, like, I don't want to, like, sit on the program, but they just didn't have, like, internship opportunities like they didn't really have that many connections and with those types of fields like that's what you need to kind of like climb so in hindsight it was kind of a mistake going to school for that now i'm in teaching but it is what it is when you're young you don't always know what you 
want to do and you don't think like future. So it is what it is. Went for business. I did all right with it. Um, like Ian said in his episode, like it wasn't really that challenging. Like I felt like fine. And I definitely slipped a little bit just because I took it for granted and I was just chilling. Like we'd be at the gym just hooping <laughs> <laughs> all day and night. Like, Every night. Yeah, <laughs> like, so I definitely slipped a little bit in school, but I picked it back up. Uh I'm trying to think what else. Um yeah, man, I don't know. Like, y'all can ask me questions or whatever. I'm trying to think of what else to get into. But ultimately, like, I came in Geneva trying to hoop. That was the main thing. <laughs> and then I think I met y'all later on. Like, the first people I met, honestly, were probably, like, outside of the hoop team. Or, like, Sanger, Aaron, like, all those people I came in with. And then I think I met all of you guys just from random stuff, like, playing basketball, parties, whatever the case may be. I'm bad at remembering first experiences, but my <laughs> <laughs> I think my earliest memory of Briscoe was when we had them like crazy ass 2K battles in the room. Like Briscoe, <laughs> Briscoe was picking like the all time Miami Heat team. <laughs> I was picking the Bulls. <laughs> we was doing like Five, seven eight. game series and shit. That shit was lit. Knew I could rock with Briscoe, Ian. I mean, we both played basketball, and then we had that crazy, uh, what's it called, that ultimate frisbee team with Jay Bros and them. Oh we my gosh! That generally, <laughs> that was that was fun. I ain't gonna lie. Ultimate <laughs> frisbee team. Uh, Jarwood. I'm trying to remember the first time I met Jarwood. Um, damn, bro. I'm trying. I don't remember I either, man. What'd you say? I don't remember either. It, right, it's been, I don't know. Like, I want to say just in, like, Alex's, we was all chilling. Like, I don't really, I don't know. They just met, I they remember. Just met on the podcast <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes ago. Right. I, I, yeah. I mean, me and hey, she, look, 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 what did you want to say? Tell them we got their Liberian connection, yo. Yeah, my cousin from Liberia, you know what it is. So we got that Liberian <laughs> upper target connection. <laughs> and then she, uh, I mean, we really got cool when we became roommates. And then before that, I think it was just like us just freestyling and shit in the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> that was the main thing. Damn, and Thomas, yeah. My earliest memory of Thomas is when he was playing, uh, what's his name? The boy Jake, one on one. I was saying, that's the worst outside of the <laughs> Yeah, Ew, Thomas got dunked on all crazy. <laughs> that one was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my like gosh, seven feet! So everybody was dunking that shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I yeah. got a question for you. Go ahead, ask questions. What was your uh, What was your initial thoughts on the basketball team when you? Like first came up there and it was just like all white dudes. I mean, it was a little weird at first. It was a little weird at first, but then so I what's the ball name? It was one point guard on the team. He was a senior. He was black. He kind of took me and Cam under his wing. Oh yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. He was kind of nice. <clears throat> he was short, but he was nice. Uh, I'm forgetting his name. He was cool. But, I mean, initially, I was like, uh, I've never been on a team like this. But honestly, <laughs> honestly, yo, like, my freshman year, that might have been the best basketball team I've ever been on. Like, because they – I don't know if y'all remember Brian Hill. The yeah. little five sit dog. Yeah. From, like, half court, like, effortlessly. Like, his shot was bred. Sopko, Brandon Sopko, he could defend, rebound. He was tough. Lambros was tough. Uh, who else? Who was the dude that had like zero? That wore like the jersey zero, number yeah. zero. Oh, zero. He was like um, the MVP or something at some point. I don't know. Talking about Rich? Was Rich number zero? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember what number. Damn, zero. I feel like DJ wore zero. DJ Dan is a. Mm, it wasn't him. I don't remember. He was good too. Was he nice, yo? Who, DJ? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was cool, but then he got a concussion. But he didn't know he had a concussion, got hit again. Oh, snap. 
Like he had to stay. I remember hearing about that story. Like he had to be in a dark room and like closed off for like a week or something. It was bad. That's crazy. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But like, where were the trainers at? Like he was concussed and nobody knew. Like, (laughs) (laughs) that was bad. That's crazy. (laughs) Crazy. Wow. R.I.P. Rich. Rich was really like that. Like this. He was. Would go to a party. My first ever college party actually was with Rich. So we went to, I don't even remember his, the boy name. We went to his house. I remember Say Say was there. <laughs> but uh, Rich had two 40s uh, taped to his hands because Swan made him do that shit. <laughs> and, and Edward Rich, 40 hands. Like, <laughs> like, was drinking all night. Like, Passed out drunk. The very next day, we had a team. Yeah, the very next day we had a game against Penn State Beaver. I remember that because Nick was talking all this shit. And Rich went out there and had like 35, 15, and like two blocks, three, like everything. He could do everything. Like I don't know how he ended up deep grade because he was really like that. And uh, I'm trying to remember who else was tough. Dink was tough too. If y'all remember him, yeah, Arella. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That was they were good. That we were good that year. Yo, how did Geneva ever come up on your radar? Like, how'd you hear about it? Oh, uh, it was like super random. Like me, Cam, and Kenan all went to the same church, and then Cam's like older cousin that I don't even know, but his older cousin <laughs> went to Geneva in like oh like three or something. And like told Cam about it, super random. And then we just was like, "Oh, we all trying to play. Like, we might as well go up there." But yeah, I literally heard about it from him. I went up on my visit one time, and like, I think it was the end of the school year, like June, July. And I still don't, I don't know what made me come because like that was the weirdest visit ever. But it was, <laughs> it was like Seth Coomer was my like. LNT mentor person, y'all. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. like him and Spencer, like showing me around. Like, <laughs> like, where am I at? Like, I don't know, yo. They was cool, but it was just, that place is weird. I should go there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't do nothing. It was like 2010, so all I remember was we was in the lounge in the apartments watching the Celtics Lakers NBA Finals. And, like, half the kids there didn't even care about basketball because it was all, like, RP kids. <laughs> it was like me and David Daniels watching the finals together. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Like, we ain't going to no crazy party, like, nothing. Like, that's literally all we did. But, I feel like David could have been, like, a commentator on Undisputed with Skip Bayless. Well, yeah. he could have, yo. I don't know where he's at now. I haven't talked to him, but he was passionate about that shit. He could have. He really was. You're like, I, I, I was hoping he would like make it because he really was like, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of people like someday you end up in their like GM of a team because they're just like all in the stats and stuff. Yeah. Right. He interviewed, uh, I don't know how, but he interviewed MGK when we was at the I remember that. I think I remember, <laughs> I remember that. that. Yeah. But I did some bullshit. That's crazy. But, yeah. Yeah, hey, you finally got up there, man. Like, what was your experience like going to classes and stuff like that? You touched on this in the previous podcast, but what was your, uh, I guess, what was your experience like, like your first couple classes up there? Oh, yeah. So, like, classes, like I said, I'm used to diversity. So, it was, like, a little bit weird being the only, like, well, first, I was definitely the only black person in there. I don't think I had classes with, like, Alicia or nobody. So, it was just me in there. Uh it was all like country people, like hunters and shit. Like we had to do uh, the speech class, Com One One, I think it was called. Yeah, everybody hated that class. <laughs> like it was talk about your life and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> but we was just all in there. We had to do a like introduction and speech, whatever. And literally every single person was like, "Yeah, I go hunting." I caught a deer the other day. Like, <laughs> like, I don't come from any of y'all walk of life. Like, I don't even know how to like things to relate to people. 
but that was that. Once I got into like the regular business classes, I started to meet started to meet like cool people. I had a lot of classes with uh like Vince Larson, if y'all remember him, he was chill. Yeah. Uh, was in some of my classes. Um, there was a lot of athletes, but again, going back to what I said before, like they don't really tell you like at the sports management class. So like one example, first of all, all the coaches taught the classes. So it was like, all right. And then when they were in season, like they didn't come. Like we had one class, San Isero taught it. I'm saying names, but he, he taught the class. <laughs> <laughs> it was the final four. Yo, we didn't see this man. Matter of fact, he left during the Sweet 16. We didn't see him for the rest of the tournament. Like he left for three months. We ain't had class. And initially, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, we don't have class. But now I'm like, damn, like, I still paid for it. Like, <laughs> it was a waste, bro. Like, the only thing that really taught us anything, uh, and I know she don't like them, but Dunda. Like, Dunda was actually, like, <laughs> like yeah. he, was, I gonna lie, he was a good teacher. But uh, everybody else was kind of like, I'm in season. I'm not going to be here. He was my gym teacher. Yeah. He was looking. He was mad cool. Yeah, he was cool. I think he's from not Philly, Philly, but I think he's from like the area surrounding. Jeff, you remember we used to Stop. hoop with him? Yeah, at lunch. Like I can't remember if it was yeah at lunchtime. He was like nice too. He could hoop with uh Kendall was with us and um, yeah, who else was in there? John Brady. Uh, those were yeah. those were good runs. Yeah, Dundee was, was cool. I like them. What was your uh hmm what was your thoughts about chapel? <laughs> chapel. What was your first chapel like? Yeah, that's the first chapel reference we had since like episode one. I know. Same thing. Like I went to a Baptist church, like it was lively, and we went in there, it was like freaking like zombies and shit. Like everybody was like <laughs> sitting there like <laughs> I, I don't know. It was just weird. No music, no dancing, like nothing. We was just sitting there. Just sitting there. So I know I touched <laughs> on it. Like going. African parents, once they hear like the faith aspect, they're like, you're going here. Like, did your folks like feel the same way? Like, hey, this is like, I don't know, I mean, faith yeah, based like, education. So like, you should go out here. Yeah, my mom was definitely happy about that. But like, she wasn't like strict like that. Like if I went to like a big state school, she wouldn't have cared. Like she would have just been like, "All right, like I raised you, like just know how to act while you out there." But she was definitely like happy about the whole faith based thing. But I mean, college is college. Like stuff happens everywhere. Right. Yeah, she was definitely like happy about that part. Yeah. I don't think she knew either. <laughs> I don't think she realized either. Yeah, I don't know anyone that actually knew like what it was before going there. I think we just I had no idea. <laughs> like, I but like I will say, like Geneva definitely had like some cool people. Like obviously, oh, yeah. all, like Ish was the homie. Like always drove me back and forth from school. Um, oh yeah. We used to always hoop with uh, the longboarders and all that, and they was chill. Yeah. Like, it was definitely, you find your little community that you cool with. Yeah. So I feel like the education at Geneva was pretty good, too. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, it was solid. Um, dang, what do I want to start with? That's <laughs> 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 so what we used to draw at Geneva. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Maybe I'll let somebody else. I'll wait till the end of the episode. Somebody else can ask some questions. Uh, go ahead, what? What you trying to do? Go ahead, spice it up. Go ahead, spice it up. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to ask, like, what was, like, <laughs> one, I can feel, like, just you talking about, like, you being used to diversity, I feel like it showed as a strength when you came to Geneva, man, because you was, like, it just showed, like, you could yeah, fit Jeff, in. Jeff, but what was, love Jeff, yeah. that's, that's why I, when you asked me my first yeah. impression of Jeff, I said, white people love Jeffrey, bro. <laughs> like, people need to understand that shit. But like, what was the dating experience like coming to Geneva? Oh, <laughs> I mean, all right. So freshman year, I was with somebody whose name I won't name. 
Yeah, <laughs> you Damn, I don't even remember. You can put it. You can put it in the chat. Yeah, I gotta remember how to type in that. Yeah, <laughs> you Yo, but Chia, that, that look at the chat with Chia type. Like that's crazy. Like I really thought he was he was a cool dude. Yeah, I was uh, fucking with the ops. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> with, oh, yeah. I would have like, no like, idea. Like, like Hillary Clinton emails, our chat can never get. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell us about your dating life, oh, Jeff. What? Oh, yeah, Jeffrey. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you know, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, nah, it, it wasn't that. Damn, I'm shitting on the school again. I feel like <laughs> it wasn't that many like girls up there who were like used to being around black people. Mm-hmm. You know, it, I feel we know. like they were like say afraid that, say that of again us. For some people, that <laughs> just weren't used to black people at all. Like, I feel like they were genuinely afraid of us. Like, again, I won't say the name, but I had and can can vouch for this. I literally had a conversation with somebody at Geneva, and after we talked for, like, 15, 20 minutes, they were like, oh, like, you're a lot cooler and nicer than I thought you were. And I was just like, <laughs> I couldn't even forget who it was. But I'm like, yo, like, who, like, who painted this picture for you that, like, we're all some, like, scary motherfuckers, like, <laughs> like it was, I don't know. I forget how to spell their last name. It's the media, yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, I feel like everybody was afraid of this. Like the first person I talked to, they are from uh, near where you're from, Ian. So yeah. they were chill, whatever. Talked. We were together for a little bit. Broke up, and then sophomore year. I was chilling. I think it was the middle of sophomore year, the beginning of junior year, that I met Justine. I think it was sophomore year. I can't remember. You better get right because you know she going she going to kill you. <laughs> when was it? That might have been your junior oh, year. It was yeah, a year. I'm trying to say, like when we were roommates, that was still the flames was just starting. Like I don't know if it was so, it was done. Yeah, but... I think it was junior years when you actually yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sealed the deal. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah, they have the best story. I stand by that. Yeah, you a model, model He's child for Geneva. Yeah, Jeff wasn't even here for the dating for the dating. Yeah, you missed, the... missed a lot. Oh, let me ask you this: Did you feel the pressure? Because we talked about that, like cats be, you know getting married just to have sex you're just doing that like did you feel the pressure to be like ring my spring no because <laughs> <laughs> it don't make sense to you. Like, how are you gonna get married when we're still in school like we have no bread like where are we gonna live like it just didn't make sense. like i saw people do that shit and i'm like oh like what are you doing like yeah. it really did not make sense like you even have shit What'd you say? How, my how, I said we ain't even have shared dorms. Like, I'm gonna marry you, and I can only come over on Wednesdays till eight p.m. Yeah, like we got <laughs> each other's rooms and shit. Like, how? <laughs> my wife. What you mean? I leave at nine. I yeah, know. like. <laughs> shit got oh, real crazy. we had the that one year we had the room like on that first level. <laughs> so you, all you had to do was jump off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were all jumping off. Uh, <laughs> it was a good thing we already got all degrees. They'd be like, "Man, I'm not giving you all this shit." Yeah. <laughs> nah, that shit just didn't make sense to me. But people asked, like, when we was long distance the year after we graduated, people would hit her up all the time, like, "Y'all ain't married yet? Like, are y'all still together?" I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mind really your business. That's the only thing about small schools, though. Like, there was a lot of positives about Geneva, but I also felt like being at a small school where everyone kind of knows everyone, it's like everybody's trying to be in your business. 
Everybody's trying to know what's going on. Like, yeah. all of them, like, <laughs> but, yeah. Yo, Jeff, but, you remember? You remember that one time? It was uh, me, you. I think his name was Clayton. Was that his name? Black dude with curly hair. No, it was a white dude. Oh, yeah. And there was two yeah, girls with us. Yeah, I know. Who you're talking about. We were down at the park. I'm not gonna say what was happening. <laughs> Yep. And then Jarwood came and saved the day. Well, save me. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I was too far gone. I was lost. <laughs> yeah. I don't I still don't know why you did not come with us. I don't like know. You, I said, Jeff, let's go. Yo, let's go. <laughs> like you love McDonald's. Like you did not come with us. <laughs> and we had a car, bro. Like, yo, and we had a ride. Right. Yeah. <laughs> for once a year and a half a walk. Hey, I'm gonna say yeah, that, having a car was such a premium at Geneva, bro. It really it was, was, yo. It was a, such a small college town, dog. If you ain't have a car, you trust your feet, but you weren't. <laughs> right. But uh, back to back to that story. Yeah, they got paid that. They just the time for the story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> me and Jarwood, I got in the car with Jarwood. We were going to McDonald's, and we just see like it's probably like five cop cars just sitting up at the like end of the street. And I texted yeah. Jeff. I was like, "Yo, you you should probably get out of here. Like, there's mad cops up here." And then we just didn't see Jeff again until the next morning. And I'm gonna add, I was his roommate, and I was up late, and I was like, "Damn, man, after like two hours." <laughs> 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 Jeff, bro. We say what, we'll we'll say what happened off air, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can put it in the chat. Yeah. Bro, I came back a reformed Presbyterian. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was back. I mean, that's <laughs> nah, that was funny. <laughs> but yeah, that was wild when I. I don't think about that because I we all went to that park at some point in time. Like I went there and like nothing happened, you know. Like it just it's like wrong place, wrong time type of thing. Yeah, those things. Yeah, um, easy. Damn, I'm trying to like monitor like my stories that I tell. <laughs> I feel like Yo, Jeff, what's your favorite stories? memory? Like hit us up. My favorite memory. Yeah. Hmm. Also, why you think about that? I just gotta say, Jeff is married to Justine, like we said, and their wedding was lit. Yeah, and it was wonderful. Yeah. But it was the best. It was the best wedding I've been to. It was pretty. Besides mine, was, but, yeah, yeah. That's my, mine. It was my wedding. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think everybody in here has a has like the top three weddings I've been to. It was pretty lit. Yeah, that, that video like, that we made at the end. <laughs> we still haven't found that video yet. I got All a- of us just singing. Yeah. Oh, oh my just- gosh! It's on. You want to see it's that seven hour video, like a DVD? It's on there. It's Trump- on- Trump like it was just all of us out there hammered, and then I think it might have been Alicia that started singing it. That shit had nothing to do with what I was talking about, and she just broke out in song. I'm like, okay, we all... <laughs> open bar you wedding. Say you gonna find definitely for the last five years. You gotta find it. right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm gonna try. That was a perfect. That was the perfect cap off to that summer. Yeah, yeah. Yo, in the hotel, in our hotel room, like it was me, <laughs> Lisa, ish, me, and Chia. Yeah, Bro. Monica <laughs> and Monica. Monica had to leave because I was snoring too bad. <laughs> wait, 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 this is that Jeff wedding? Yeah. yeah. Wait, who's in my Where room? You. <laughs> so it was, as if I'm not mistaken, it was me, you, Jeff, Cam, Tyler, yeah. and DJ. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did y'all have that Airbnb, right? No, mm-hmm. we had, we just had a hotel. Hotel yeah. room, yeah. Walking around fucking Ohio at two o'clock in the morning and then went to that <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Walmart, That's, the only, That's the only thing I remember, really. 
These niggas let me dry the steak and shake, drunk as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being in that parking lot. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's shit. shit. Yeah, that's so funny. For my whole family, I was an alcoholic. Yo, and we had edibles at that hey, wedding. Yeah. I did. I did bring some edibles to Jess' wedding. Uh, yeah. My bad. <laughs> my, oh yeah. My, my bad. I had to give the best man speech. Whoa. The aliens. What just happened? <laughs> Thomas be plugging. <laughs> Bro, I feel like it's Thomas, Thomas messing us all up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why y'all surprised at this Nigga point. Thomas is bro. But yeah, we were we were on the party bus, like going back to the reception. We finished we might have we finished a bottle and a half. And then as soon as I get off the bus, she is like, yo, I got this edible. You wanna try it? <laughs> so I take that. And then we walk in and the dude's like, Yeah, we're just gonna do the best man speech first. I was like, What? <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, that shit was so crazy, bro. dude. I still got, I still got that somewhere on my phone in your speech, bro. Uh, <laughs> Forget the edible. And bro. then like my Jeff came yeah. up to me and was like, "Oh, so you uh, you drank a lot at school?" Huh? <laughs> Wait, on the party bus, I think it was was it your cousin that finished a bottle by herself? No, that was my niece. Yo, bro. Yeah, your niece. Yo, <laughs> Jeff, Yo, you were I out there doing your married people like stuff, that. but me and Devin had to go in the bathroom and help her. Yo, I was like, "Why am I in a woman's bathroom?" But we're, we're just helping her because she threw up. Why were you going in the woman's bathroom, Joey? Helping her, Joey. Bro, there was nobody helping, and so you know me. I'm just like, yo, I got to help this person out. And so like, we were just in there helping her, like clean herself up, how, and, like get herself well, together. How'd you yeah. get in there in the first place? Because they told me to go. They're like, go help her. I was like, what? What? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to make it weird. It wasn't like. <laughs> <laughs> Trust you, Jarwin. <laughs> hey, didn't we go to like the liquor store the day of your wedding, Jeff? I mean, we probably did. Yeah, we did. Cause we, just showed, went, we showed up to your wedding. Jarwin, dro- the dreams Jarwin the drove us because you were driving that minivan. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Jeff was, was Jeff there? Yeah. No, Jeff was Jeff was in our car. Yeah, I think we went because we were listening to we were listening to Meek Mill. Yeah, he was getting hyped for his wedding day. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. My yeah, don't do edibles and give best man speeches. But yeah, I could. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, if you take nothing else away. Wow! <laughs> you can see it all in Ian's face, like he was lit. <laughs> and, and if I'm not mistaken, he, he probably said, "I don't even know why they gave me the mic." But <laughs> I'll post hey, a wait, video wait, on the wait, group wait, chat. Thomas, didn't I tell you yeah. to put a shirt on last episode? Hey man, let the man flex his muscles, man. He's been working out. I'm gonna have your son come steal your chain again, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Had to put legit to sleep, bro. He was, he was wilding, man. Oh, since Thomas is back, remember we used to be up in a Jeff and Chia's room to watch what was this? Uh, Loader Squad. Oh, Loader Squad. <laughs> yeah, dude. Ian the went Boondocks. To days of like True. Loader Squad, bro. Like Loader Squad. Was <laughs> yeah, that shoe. Was, shoe. Was oh, they make music, Loader Squad. Bro. Um, I don't know when y'all start watching The Walking Dead, but it was around that time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Walking that. Dead in the Boondocks. Yeah, we used to pregame every Sunday. Yeah, that oh, shit was yeah. fire. Yeah, we really did <laughs> used to look forward to this because we were lucky. Like Jeff and I were lucky that it was just two of us in them rooms because, like, y'all know you can have like six people in there. <laughs> like, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Hold on, so, hey, that was uh Jeff. That was your junior year, right? Hmm. Oh. I about to say yeah, cause it was yeah, it was cause Cam had uh, Cam left or transferred or whatever. I left, and when I I think I came back up there for homecoming, I was like, "Who stay with y'all?" And I was like, "It's just us. Y'all got big ass six man. It's just y'all two. Yeah, yeah. Talk about yeah, talk about a nigga was, being jealous. I was in that room, bro, and then I left. Remember after I finished. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, and then I graduated in December, and I slid. It was just y'all. Yeah. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. that was the most space I ever had. Cause my sophomore year, I was in a room. It was me, Alex, Matt, Swan, Darius, 
Oh, he was in Double O.A.? It was like, nah, it was the third floor. And, uh, I, they was all the way up there. Yeah, um, there was like seven of us in there. I'm like, yeah, you guys had a lot of people in there. <laughs> it was pet. But, yo, I do, I do remember you and Chia's room because, like, y'all had the bed in the one corner, and then by the door or the window, whatever, you had another bed that was like up high, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yep. yeah, yeah. Why, why do I remember being on that bed? <laughs> oh, <Ooh. laughs> we'll save God. that for your story. I remember. Wait, why. Chia, <laughs> what was Chia and Jarwood doing? No, nigga, I what? Pause. <laughs> You, you said, yeah. <laughs> don't pause me. Yeah, I'm just commentating ask. what I'm hearing. No, no, no. But I just, I just vaguely remember that. I don't know why. But it was, I, I don't put it in the group chat. You can tell that in one of your stories, Charwood. It was nah, one I'm not of telling them. nothing. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. No, no. Ooh. Is it another one that doesn't go that way no more? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why yeah, your yeah, room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Bro. <laughs> I don't know why. Like got no house. <laughs> why, you, why you turn that girl off, man? <laughs> now I'm thinking of it, I was like, it was like the same shit that happened with the. Was it Briscoe and Tom? No, when Thomas and Ag. <laughs> it's yeah, like that type of situation. Uh, it wasn't me, it's like, why, yeah. why was why was I in the room? I was sleeping in my room, but I can't remember. But yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah. Damn. Um, hey, Jeff, what was your favorite memory? You never answered. Damn, man. Uh, it's so crazy because on I used to record everything. So on my laptop, I feel like I have a fucking documentary, bro. Like for real, for real. <laughs> like oh be like, gosh. what's the? Did uh, you ever find that? Yeah, dude, like, I'll pay you money to like get all like the freestyle reps and all this stuff. I definitely still have them on my old MacBook. Because I'll be honest, that's my beginning mixtape. Yeah, that's right? my origin <laughs> story. Shit. But now I, I really did understand. Like, I don't know whether it was a cultural thing. Like, Ian and Jeff always used to record shit, and I never used to understand why. <laughs> I just never <laughs> really world star memories. World star. Yeah, I mean, you know what's funny? Because Ian would never like want to take like to be in a picture. But he was always recording stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I can appreciate it now because, like, especially I seen that genius documentary of Kanye West. Not that we Kanye West or nothing, but like his boy always recording, and I was like, okay, I can see, like, you know, Damn, you don't really be that. thinking about shit like that. But hey, give it, give it six years. Jeff gonna rock <laughs> the Geneva Last Dance. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Once our podcast blows up. Yeah, uh, everybody <laughs> wants to see our documentary. <laughs> uh, Damn, this nigga Chia was really spitting back in the day. <laughs> I had some bars, man. I was doing it for the love of it too. Yeah, like, I was just bars. like, man, shit's fire. I don't you know. Yeah, that you need to like, like, What you say, Joe? Are so cool? A little hot mm-hmm. before they got rid of all them shits. Like that yeah. was part of cool. Yeah. Shit, we were, uh, getting on the ox. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, I wanted to ask you, man, because you know, I know you say you went up there and you walked on the team. Like, what was what was your basketball experience like your the entire time at Geneva? I mean, it wasn't the greatest. Like my freshman year, there was eight of us. I think eight freshmen came in with me. And then there was already, like, nine people returning. So we had a big-ass team. So I was like, all right, I'm not going to play. But we had a freshman team, which I didn't know colleges did. So, like, we would play other freshman teams. So I got to play in those. But, I mean, practice was just, like, we scrimmaged against the older guys. Uh, We always had to be scout team. Like, I didn't really feel like I was part of the equation. Like, I was always just, like, the other team's point guard or whatever, and we had to play against the starters. But I was like, all right, I'm a freshman. Like, I'm going to just rock with it. And then sophomore year, more people came in. I think that was, like, I want to say that was when Chase came, the big 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six ball. He was tough. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was tough. And then uh, I forget who else came in. But, yeah, I saw the writing on the wall. Like, I knew I was never going to play. But, I mean, 
everyone's good. Like it's college basketball, but at the same time, I felt like I was good too. But like, I felt like I never really got like a fair mm-hmm. like shot at like trying to like prove myself or whatnot. Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like if I'm not as good as everybody else, fine. Don't play me. Like I'm not going to be like I need playing time. Like I'm not like that. But I just feel like I didn't even have like a chance to be like shown. Like whole freshman year, end of the bench, just clowning with the rest of the freshmen. <laughs> Sophomore year, it's more of the same. Like the trips were cool. We went to Cali and all that, but. Junior year and senior year, I didn't regret not being on the team because, honestly, that's when I started to, like, branch out and meet other people and get cool with other people because I know at college, it's like when you're playing a sport, you're with the team all the time, so you kind of just chill with them. So Mm -hmm. it's kind of nice to branch out and meet other people. So, yeah, it wasn't the greatest, to be honest. Like, the team itself was cool. Like, I had no problems with the players. It was just like – Did you ever think about transferring somewhere else to play? I thought about transferring to other schools just to go to school. Like, transferring is hard to play because it's like they already have their roster. Like, you got to be nice to, like, come in and, like, be put into the mix. So, it's like – it, like, crossed my mind. But I was getting to a point where I just didn't even feel like it no more, to be honest. Like, I had more fun just, like, hooping and intramurals, to be honest, with you, like, with Ian and them. (laughs) <laughs> like when I was on the team it was really like a job like we were in the gym every single day like holidays were cut short I had to come back the day after Christmas yeah, that's like wild. all this to not even play like, <laughs> I'm like I'm, I was getting kind of tired of it like I was burnt out by the end of my sophomore year so it was what it was though like niggas was hooping like it is what it is yeah, them in them intramural teams were lit though, man. I remember I played with y'all one time. I tried to take a shot in the fourth quarter to put us up, and I got my shit blocked. It's like- <laughs> <laughs> that shit was fun though. Like the teams was all right. Team was was our team then was the shift team, wasn't it? It was the shift team. <laughs> that's, that's literally what my team is called now for like rec league. I named all my teams the shift team. <laughs> Got to keep it alive. <laughs> it was fun. But, uh, no, nah, on the team, everybody was mad cool. Like, Harbo, I don't know how cool y'all were with uh, Jordan Harbison, but Jordan was, like, probably, like, my best friend on the team. He was mad cool. Uh, all the upperclassmen were mad cool. Uh, Kyger was cool. Trevor York, all them. Like, everybody was cool as shit. Like, they was all mad cool. Pat Johnson was cool. He came to my wedding. Uh, yeah, everybody was really Was you cool, cool with uh, Zach Rourke? Yeah, yep. He was on the team. He was cool. Yeah, I was cool with him just because I painted with him that one summer. So, no, yeah, Zach the Hoop. He's, I think he's from out there. He went to like Blackhawk or some shit. I don't know. One of them. Yeah, called. no, he was out. There. He was out there. We partied at his house. That's when I learned he had like six siblings back then. I was like, damn, you know, it's a big old family. <laughs> I know that's for you. You said back then. Well, he got more siblings now or something? No. <laughs> no. He had six back then. At the RP now, rate, you never know. Yeah, like. <laughs> nah, they, nah, he was cool. And we uh, traveled with the girls team, too. That's how I got cool with Ish and all them. They were real cool. Um, And that was at the time where Every team had like a house, so like that was fire. Was yeah, it was lit. And the basketball team had a house. Mm-hmm. Hey, who y'all think had the best house? Have to my whole time at Geneva. Mm. It's probably the soccer team for real, for real. Over the, over mm. the baseball team. Mm. <laughs> soccer is a crap team. That's hey, a, you remember, I can't hear nothing you saying. Bro, it's like an ant. It was both <laughs> you remember that? You remember the house we used to go to that was down by the Evergreen? Yeah. <laughs> that was a, that house was lit, yeah. Yeah, that was and a then, Yeah, that was they had a good run. Actually the bull that lived there, he owns <laughs> he owns a bar down in uh Southside now. Really? Yeah, him and his wife bought a bar. I haven't been there yet. Steve goes all the time though. I ain't do that. That's it, yeah, I gotta check it out. But yeah, he we got stories like about that house too. <laughs> yeah. What? 
we got stories about that house too, but oh, yeah, I feel like yeah, we yeah. can't really talk yeah, about yeah, it. On- <laughs> it's watching. Literally, yeah, literally the feds for watching. Hey, <laughs> like, there's no way me and Jeff are not on that camera. <laughs> hey, <laughs> We're on that video. <laughs> hey, Jeff. We got this. Was, this was before. We used to Jeff take the freshman there. down there. Remember, uh, remember that pizza place that there used to be another pizza place in Beaver Falls on oh. the way down to uh Papa John's. Yep, mm. that joint got that they got that joint shut down because they were lacing the pizzas, bro. Hand in, hand well, that was the story. Pizza. I remember that. I remember yeah. hearing that. Yeah. They was lacing the pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> with what you pay extra, you got a little something on the side. Beaver <laughs> <laughs> Falls is just a wild oh, yeah. street. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it was a known little commodity for real. Thomas would have had a field day. That was before me. I didn't know about that. Yeah, I remember yeah, that was wild. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> that might have been before Jeff's time too. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It was this blood this dude that used to just walk around in all red all the time. Yeah, with, a, with, just, a, with the handkerchief on his pocket too. He used to like, just come up and like walk around the outside of campus. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Beaver Falls logos were wild, yeah. Like we yeah. used to go to hoop at the chains, and we saw everybody with Dream Chasers hoodies and T-shirts on. I'm like, yeah. how did y'all get those? Like, <laughs> <laughs> if y'all know me, Clay, how did you? Get <laughs> like, I think that's how I got cool with Nick. But yeah, I I was like, well, these dudes, I don't know about them. <laughs> Nick Mills. We might have to yeah, get Nick on the episode. <laughs> We got to get Nick on here. Nick be wilding, though. <laughs> he does. Nick is hilarious, though. That's my boy. And then Chez and all them. Yeah. yeah. New York Falls niggas got the most pride ever, yeah. Like, you swear they came from, like, New York City or something. Like, they were they out hard for Beaver Falls. <laughs> and they be winning. Like, their high school teams be winning, too. <laughs> true, true, true. I will say, though, like, football, they got us. Like, Eastern PA is not good at football. But basketball, I'm like, I don't know, yo. I don't know. Like they no, had Schultz Peter. He was tough. But they're not they're not touching Eastern PA in basketball. Well, it's a little bit. <laughs> yeah. They, they could have that whole coal worker, steel mill worker, football toughness, <laughs> but if it's a basketball, I don't see it. Well, it's a little different. <laughs> Wait, bro. I don't see Jeff Jeff. Uh let me see what other question I got about your time and you need. But Ian, what was the spicy stuff you was thinking about? Ah, oh, damn. I no, I, I'm a, I got to talk about it off air. <laughs> oh, you tease me. You say you're going to wait till the end of the podcast. You really no, did. Yeah. We almost at the end of the podcast. And, and I was thinking about it, but this man's a teacher. Like, I can't. Hey, that, that teacher had a pass, bro. <laughs> it's going to stay there, too. It's going to yeah, stay in the past. It's going to stay right there. <laughs> right. All the, all the best teachers right. got a good past. I, oh, I yeah. Like Jeff, like. Jeff, tell us what you're up to in life now. You know what I'm saying? Don't get this yeah, so, uh, Master Jeff. <laughs> Master <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> nah, so shout out to Kathy. While the whole time she was at Jimmy, she used to always be like, yo, you should go into this. Like, you're good with kids and with people. Cause I used to volunteer down at uh New Brighton, like at the gym, like basketball stuff or whatever. And she was up there the one time. She was like, "Oh, you're good with the kids. You should be a teacher." I'm like, "Nah, like I can't do that shit." But now, fast forward, like here I am. So after school, I got into coaching. Uh, I was coaching high school basketball. Through that, I was like, "Oh, all right." I kind of like working with kids, and then I started working as like a teaching, like assistant at a school near me. And then right before COVID, started my master's degree, got my master's. Now I'm teaching. um, Just had an interview yesterday in TE School District, if you know that district, Jarwood. Which one? But uh, like Conestoga School District, by Wayne. Okay. Yeah. That was signs, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Teaching in a uh, private school for a little bit, trying to transition in the public school though that's where the, the big bread's at but, i would have thought it was the other way around like, nah nah it costs a lot to go to private school but they don't pay the teachers that well yeah oh, they don't get the thing and all that shit like bro uh, what yeah that's they insane. don't get the thing that's all it is but yeah i teach coach basketball 
me and my boy ran out of gym. We got our own training program. We trained a bunch of kids. Hey, drop the plug. Drop the plug. How, how we find your training program? Yeah, how we find We're changing the name, though. So at first, we were trying to do, like, just girls. So it was called, like, well, my own personal thing is all hard basketball. But then our joint thing is called, like, She Week. But it's kind of hard. Like, not that many girls, like, who? Like, there's a few, but there's not that many. So we're trying to think of a new name. But... Yeah, we're in the process of that. But we train a bunch of kids right now, trying to make it bigger. Because it's like, I don't know. Y'all see Instagram. <laughs> Y'all see Instagram. Like, it's a lot of, like, dribble, 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 dribble. Like, it's, I don't know. It's a lot of bullshit drills out there. Yeah. Like, we try to focus on, like, we, it, it is. It's, been, it's a lot of people just stealing money, bro. It's really good. <laughs> and then they get older, and the kids are like, why aren't I nice? It's because, well, the past couple years, you've been bullshitting. Like, <laughs> You were paying the bullshit. <laughs> too, right? Like people do like a lot of stupid shit when they're younger and they don't know what they're doing. And then they get older and everybody's big and athletic and it's like it's too late. I say that all the time, bro. People be out I be watching like I don't be I don't like to throw shade at people, but I see a lot of these people out here training kids, man. It's like that's never gonna translate. No, like you just, just taking their money. Right, yeah. So we do like weightlifting. We do film sessions, and then at the end of the workout, we do, like, whatever we watched film on is what we do, like, in the skill session of the workout. So, like, we try to make it translate to the game. And the parents really like that because they're like, oh, you're actually, like, having a focus. You're not just getting shots up for an hour. Like, they could just do that on their own. So, we just try to initiate, yeah. But, yeah. so on the oh, on the topic top of basketball, five. who's your – just two questions. Who's your oh, top five point guards of all time, and who's your top five point guards right now? Mm. Bro, you bet not leave some of these people out I'm thinking about. And then what's the best basketball team <clears throat> in the NBA? The Nuggets. Oh, what? Over. <laughs> Whoa, wait. <laughs> just one. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. That's the top answer. five. Who won? Because remember time. last week we did uh the over, like we we did our predictions. Oh uh, yeah. Shit. Well, didn't we all go with the Heat except for like yeah. you? No, <laughs> no, I went with the Nuggets. Game six. Me and Chia did Nuggets. Uh, six. Yeah. Oh six. Well, they won in five, so nobody won. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody got closest. So. Right. I'm pretty sure somebody <laughs> won that shit. I thought we were gonna put them more of a fight though. All time, I'm going to say Magic, Steph. Is this in order? No, I'm just saying. All right, all right. Magic, Steph. I go, all right, I'll throw Isaiah Thomas in there. Like, he did his <laughs> thing. I, I don't know. I feel like there's people now that are better than him. But Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll say Stockton, and then honestly, I think Jason Kidd's a top five point guard of all time. Like, I feel like he's a name that doesn't get mentioned very often. I agree with you until later on, but he was cold. But right now, dang, Iverson. Yeah. Iverson was like a shooting guard. Yeah, he's like a two. I hate putting okay. Iverson at a two because then I got to debate with people on why Dwayne Wade's better. <laughs> hey. We're we're just we're just not gonna do that debate right now. <laughs> this is Jeff this is Jeff's episode. <laughs> right now though, I mean Steph again because he's still playing. And then is Shea a point guard? Shea Gilgis? That's I would consider Shea him a point guard. I fuck with Shea Gilgis heavy. Yeah. Him, I mean I guess Dame. Uh Shit, who else? Um, Dang, he's missing. He's missing one. Damn, he bet, he I can't think right now. Simmons, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm not> <laughs> Damn, I can't think right now. Hold up, Steph, Dame. Who did I yeah, say? Shea. Steph, Dame, Shay. Like I want to say CP, but like he's old now, so I can't. I don't know. I mean, Kyrie is like ridiculous. I don't know. CP my... makes it to like the conference finals every year, though. 
He does. I, like the, I mean, not the finals, the uh, playoffs. When he's yeah. healthy. The fifth is hard because, like, I don't know. Like, the way the NBA is now, it's, like, positionless. So, like, is LeBron True. a point guard? Like, I don't yeah. even know. Like, it's, I was going to ask about that. I don't know, but what about the dude that just won the finals? Jamal Murray. <laughs> eh, he's more of, like, a scorer to me. Like, I feel like me too, but... a playmaker on that team. But... That's true. Mur- I don't know. Murray's cold. I-, I like Jamal Murray, but I can't put him in my top five. <laughs> Even though he is, like, ridiculous. I, I don't know. What um, about Ja Wick? Oh, Ja Morant. <laughs> <laughs> He's just – I don't know. He's dope, too. I I put Shea over him, though. I like Shea over him any day of the week. Oh, yeah, Shea's – yeah. He's just – they're never on TV, so people just don't know. How you feel about uh? How you feel about De'Aaron Fox? Oh, mm. and fun fact, fun fact. Mm. According to ESPN, technically, Luca's a point guard. Luca how, is technically. Point guard. Yeah, I think he is. A, yeah, Luca is. All right, damn. I would have to put Luca in there then. I mean, he's like a European LeBron. <laughs> 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 he's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Fox? Fox had a great year. I got to see him do it more than just one season. How you feel about Ice Trey? Mm. Trey is underrated, too. That's the thing. Like, it's like a <laughs> hard SEC. Like, it's hard to – Trey is dope, though. I think he's I've seen some. I've seen something that the Sixers might get uh, DeJounte. Really? DeJounte Murray? See, all right. But, like, who do we give up, though? Because it's like no, no, we would have to give up like Tobias. Uh, Please, he can go for real. Probably, <laughs> he really uh, can. Are you gonna go? Probably, probably okay. Melton. <clears throat> like Aaron Gordon, Furcon, Tobias Harris strives to be. Yeah, I, I like Aaron Gordon a lot actually. But before but, Tobias got to the Sixers, Tobias was like the go-to scorer in, in at the Clipper with the Clippers. But it's the Clippers. He just has not transitioned well with the Sixers. Because they keep they change his role. They change his role every year. Every year we're waiting for him to just like you know go off, and then he just does that. So I think Tobias had a solid playoffs this year. He does. Like, he was playing. He was playing defense. He does. But I treat him, he was. I got him like Aaron Gordon, man. That's how. I feel like that's the that's the right role for him. He had a couple He's big games in the playoffs. You know what I'm still sad about? Yeah, it's Matisse Thybul. Like I really love that young kids. Yeah. It's all been oh, coming on quick enough for me. Is, yeah, is same. Melo considered a two? Who? Melo? Is he considered a point guard or a two? Shit, if they draft Scoot Henderson, he gonna be a two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I seen like the Pelicans are trying to get rid of uh, Zion. Oh, I seen. Today, yeah. I seen Charlotte might put a package together to get Zion. So the Pelicans can get Scoot Henderson. Is it Scoot Henderson? They might have to get rid of Zion, dog. Because it's like every year you're hurt, bro. Like, like when are you going to play? Like, I'm like really and then they're like, oh, he's fine. And he's like warming up and doing windmills and shit. But then he doesn't play. Like, oh, what's up with him? Like, and, now, and now he's with porn stars and stuff. Like, like yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we did. Up with him, like <laughs> NBA NBA needs some vets in the locker room. Like that's never the way to go. Like this year was wild. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I seen Lil Wayne's team said they reached out to him and he he didn't respond. But I'm like, I mean, Lil Wayne, no. <laughs> yeah, Lil Wayne. For him, like, what are they going to do? Yeah, <laughs> what you going to hey, do, bro? I knew, this year was gonna, like, <laughs> I knew this year was going to be wild when it started off with Draymond Green punching Jordan Poole. All crazy, like <laughs> that shit. Yeah, <laughs> Had Beverly stealing the cameraman's camera, saying, "Look." Well, <laughs> Like, this, this was really the funniest NBA season. John Morant, John Morant, like, I'm good in the West. I was like, oh, this is going to be a hell of a year. Nah, he so was got, just so off for Malika Andrews. Like, this isn't funny, but I figured I figured the season was going to be crazy when uh, Miles Bridges fumbled the bag like that. Forgot about that, actually. Yeah. 
Is he still in the league? Like, what's, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm pretty sure he was in prison for a little bit. <laughs> I, mean, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to be. It's very racing people out here. Yeah. Yo, Ian, did you ask Jeff his top 10, like an all time? I just asked him his top five point guards. Okay. Hey, give me a, hey, instead of top five, I like to do this thing now, man, because I feel like this is easier. It's called right. the Mount Rushmore. Because mm. it doesn't matter which, which place you're in, as long as you got a head on the rock. Give me a Mount Rushmore basketball players. What's that? My, so, <laughs> my Mount Rushmore is Iverson. Facts. Because, like, if he was 6'6", bro, like, he would have really, like, he would have been crazier than he already was. But AI, I got to throw Jordan on there, I guess. Uh, Bron. Fourth. Wolf was always tricky. Probably. Uh, fourth. Fourth. Mm-hmm. Kareem? I mean, just out of people that like I personally watched, like I gotta say Shaq, just because he like That's literally not... no one could stop him. Like he, they had like, to change the rules. Like literally, <laughs> they had to change the rules, the backboards. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like he was... teams were just <laughs> teams were just getting like tall dudes just so they could like foul him. Yeah, like, he was unstoppable. <laughs> So I, I'd have to go with him. Yeah. Okay. This this is a serious question. Do you oh, think if Shaq could shoot, he would have been the greatest of all time? Like threes, or just like no, no, just like a, a mid range, like yeah, even free throws. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably like the greatest center yeah. of all time, huh? Like the greatest center of all time. You don't think the greatest. In general, nah. all the time? oh, the greatest in general. If he could yeah. shoot, that's a creative he player, my guy. That's like yeah, that is Giannis can shoot. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Giannis can shoot. <laughs> <That's probably fair>. <laughs> <laughs> Giannis, I don't think, I don't think Giannis has shoot. that like paint presence like Shaq had though. Like Shaq was yeah. like, nah, the game is just different. Yeah, it's different. I don't know, man. I seen I just yeah. seen Giannis a couple times get the ball and take yeah. four dribbles and be at the rim. If I had to compare anybody from this era to Shaq, it would it would definitely be Giannis. But okay, I got another question for you. Since all right, I was listening to Cam and uh, Mace podcast. Oh shit, I gotta watch. And Stephen that. A was on it, and they asked Stephen A who's better between AI and Steph. He said if they got if you put Steph on the war, I mean if you put Steph on the Sixers team that AI took to the finals. Does Steph take that team to the finals? And if you put AI on Golden State, mm. do they still have the same dynasty? That's tough, bro. It's, it's hard because the like league is so different. Like in their yeah. Yeah. But if Steph was on that 01 Sixers team, I don't know. Well. Hmm. Uh, I don't think they go to the finals. Maybe they go to the final. I don't think they beat the Lakers, but they might still go. I don't know. But shout out to AI though, because that team really was trash. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Jeff, you had a poster hey, hey, of hold on, hold on. Amar Stoudemire. Where does he fall on your like list? You said I had a poster of who? I remember you did like, have that poster. <laughs> oh, Amari, Amari Stoudemire. Yeah. Amari, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why, yo. I just like Boston <laughs> and Steve Nash together. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea why I had that poster or where I got it from. But Amari Stoudemire is not even in like my top ten power forwards. So. <laughs> this nigga had him hanging in the kitchen all year. I was like, this is zero. <laughs> I just like watching him that year. I guess I don't even know. <laughs> Hey, I hear I hear a lot of uh, bro, I hear a lot of people slander that team. I can't pull the stats up right now because I don't even I don't feel like looking for what it, the O one Sixers. Yeah, yeah, bro. A lot of people a lot of people say what you just said. They're like, oh, they didn't they didn't really have nobody. No, so, Matumbo had just won Defensive Player of the Year the year before. That's true. Yeah, he true. literally had just just won it. Like not five years ago, six years ago. He was just that guy. Like, they did have a big paint presence. And when he played, he was definitely one of the top three centers in the league. That's true. They didn't, they, off, they had a little, a little team. 
Offensively, AI, AI didn't have help offensively. It's fair. And yeah, back no. Then, man, it was all about score. Uh, back then, it was all about defense. That's true. True. Scores was like 95, 80. Right. It was like, <laughs> I like scored half the team's points five. every night. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, yeah, but that was before I was a fan, though, so I, I can't speak on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, I don't know. I just wish AI had another other star next to him. But that's why I was hyped when he went to Denver. Like, I hated to see him go, but I was like, all right, he might get a ring with Melo. But then they yeah. traded his ass real quick for Chauncey mm-hmm. Hill, and I was sick. Then his career was over, pretty much. But Yeah, I hated that his career ended the way it did. Yeah, it was shitty that he went out like that. Him and uh, T-Mac. I didn't like how T-Mac's career ended. True. If he never got hurt, he would have been ridiculous too. I thought he was better than Kobe personally, but yeah, he was up there. Oh, you didn't put Penny in your top five point guards? Uh, yeah, I, I was... didn't, and I I know I should have. That's but... all you used to pick in two K. That's I all know. you still pick in two K is I Penny. <laughs> <laughs> I know he was just hurt too much, but like he had a run though. Like, they beat freaking Jordan when he came back. Yeah, him and Shaq. They could have been crazy. They could have been dead. She was rival Jordan. Yep. Kind of. <laughs> and you know, I got a bunch of the penny penny phone posits, dog. You got way more than me. I only got like three. three. Well, I got I got like nine or ten of them. Damn. I was buying them. Starting to make a comeback. Style. Yeah, they sure. did just re release them this year, though, so that was kind of dope. It's true. True, true, true. Yeah, I'll be yeah, watching had, these videos of people. Yeah, Never mind. Go ahead. Happened. Go ahead. I was yeah, about to just start. I was going to ask you one, one more question because we're about to be at time. If you, you look looking back at your Geneva experience, man, if you had to sit down right before you decided you were going to Geneva and someone gave you a DVD and you got to watch that DVD and it was all four years just basically compact into two hours and your entire experience. Of basically your laptop. Yeah, your laptop. <laughs> would you still be, like would you would you still go to Geneva or would you have went somewhere else? I'd have still went. Only cause like obviously I met y'all, obviously met Justine, but it's like you never know how like things are gonna go if you end up going somewhere else. Like and like looking back or looking at where I'm at now, like I like where I'm at in life. Like I like my career path, like obviously Married and all that, good uh, friends, relationships, and all that. So, I mean, the school itself, I kind of wish I went to a better place just for like the schooling aspect. But like everything else, I mean, I would I would keep it the same because you never know. Like your whole life trajectory could change, and it could be something totally different. So, I would keep it exactly the way it was. And last question I'm going to ask you, man. What's one piece of advice you have somebody? They're a senior in high school right now. They're looking at schools. Maybe they consider in Geneva or another PWI. What's one piece of advice you'd give them? Um, Don't do it. (laughs) (laughs) No. Uh, hmm. It's hard because, like, when you're 18, you don't really know what you want to do. Like, you might think you do, but everything could change. Like, I'm doing something completely different than what I thought I'd be doing. But I guess just go, like, where you feel like – I feel like Chia might have said this, too. But go where you feel like you're going to have community. Like, go where you're, like, feeling, like, good like vibes, good energy, like, the love, all that stuff. Because, like, I easily, like, could have went to a Penn State or something – with like 40, 50,000 people and just been a mm-hmm. number and then left and like, and like now what? So I just go where like you feel like it makes the most sense for you. Like don't base it off of like random stuff that everybody else is talking about because you got to do what you got to do for your life. So just make sure everything you do is based off of like good like intentions, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I like that, man. I like that, man. Anybody got any other questions for Mr. Jeff? I feel like we interviewing this man, bro. <laughs> that's, saying, that's a good note to kill it on, man. Yeah. That's, 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 that's a good note, Jeff. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate y'all for stopping in, checking out, getting to learn a little bit more about Mr. J. Dilly from Philly. All right, my boy, mm-hmm. Jeff. Hey, we got one more story lined up next week. One more story lined up. It's the it's the other bull from <laughs> Philadelphia. Big Jarwood. Kind for man himself. <laughs> The man that be wearing multiple teams stuff. He got the, yes, <laughs> he got the Utah youth on his head. got the best rappers too, by the way. I forgot to say that. Ooh, we can say that. We might need a podcast. That. We might need an episode just on that. Just on that. I'm down and, for that. Uh, like I said, we on Podbean. We on Apple Podcasts. We on YouTube. But before you do anything else, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with all your friends and family. You know, maybe you might, maybe this might inspire somebody else. And as we mentioned earlier, if you've got questions or anything like that, go ahead and drop us, send us an email. We'll try to try our best to bring it up on here and check us out on TikTok, check us out on Instagram. But for now, we out of here. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, Dicky. <laughs> <laughs>